Good evening, everybody. Hello, how are you? Good evening, how teacher. are you guys? Welcome, welcome to your class. Welcome, Marielos. Jonathan. Hello, teacher. Good Hello, evening. good evening. We have Jensi, Rene Alonso. Hello. Hello, good evening. Thank you. Welcome, Jessica Vanessa Rivas. Welcome, welcome back. Cristian Alvarado, hey, welcome. Very good to see you. One more time. Lenny, welcome. Luz Garcia, how are you guys? Everything good on this Wednesday? Yes, everything nice. We're going to continue. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Remember what we studied yesterday. Remember? Hmm. What we study? Um, estamos hablando sobre las cantidades. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sobre eh, la palabra son y en. Uh -huh, that's good. We saw about some, we saw about any, right? Different kinds of food. Mm -hmm. Y yes. como podríamos eh, utilizarla a la hora de que sean un, una o varias. Ah, uh -huh, that's correct. Y cantidades. And the quantities, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, we were uh, like formulating questions, right? It's mm -hmm. like if you ever eat snacks, for, if it's for dinner, for lunch, for the breakfast, and the different kind of food for the frequency that we have. So now we're going to continue here with a reading. And it says here that in this case, we're going to see that read and discuss an article about spatial foods, develop skills in scanning and reading for details. For that, we're going to watch a video on the platform. All right, so this one is about eating for good luck. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. All right, so we watch it. Now we're going to read it. Let's see, it says eating for good luck. We know that every country has different traditions for their culture. So let's say on a special occasions, do you ever eat any of this food in these pictures? On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Let's read about the first one, about the tangerines. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. 
round foods end and begin again, like years. Do you have any vocabulary in this part? No, teacher. No? Okay, let's go ahead with the next one. In this part, it says, it is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. What about this one? Any new vocabulary? I wish. Jewish. Judío. Judío. Es una, una costumbre judía. Jewish. Jewish custom. Jewish. So it says that they eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Well, it's a common food, right? Let's see the next reading. Greeks eat basilopita. Basilopita is like a, it's a kind of bread, right, that they eat. With the coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. Question about it? Coin. Coin. Coin means moneda. That means... Any other one? It trees. Which one? Trees. Trees. Ah, this one. Ah, this one. Tries that means tratan. Mm. Todos tratan de, de encontrar. So they try to find that um, mm. about the coin. So it's in the breath. En, la mon eh, en, en el pedazo de pan, meten la moneda y a quienes salga el pedazo de <laughs> en ese pedazo de pan, la moneda, ese es el que va a tener buena fortuna para el próximo año. So they have different cultures, right? That they mentioned there. What about in our year or to celebrate our new year in El Salvador? How do we celebrate it? Remember? What is part of the tradition that we have? Ay. El conteo de las, eh, de las 12 uvas. Ah, yes, it's true. We count the 12 grapes. Mm -hmm. Any other one? Or in the families, right? We have also different traditions. Sí. Yes. Do you have any yeah. special tradition? Yellow t-shirt. The yellow? T-shirt. Ah, the yellow t-shirt. You wear it, right? For a good mm -hmm. luck. For mm -hmm. good fortune, yes, that is true. I have heard that also some people they run. Exactly, it's true. That's very traditional. They cook the turkey, sometimes they also cook a pork. Mm -hmm. Yes, I complete yeah. pork, so it's part L of the tradition. Aha, uh -huh, that's another one. They eat that kind of meat. So that is true, yes, but different things to welcome the new year also. So we have that reading. And let's continue. We have other three reading parts. Let's see in Spain. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve, like in the United States, right? Or like here in El Salvador. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. Similar to El Salvador, we also do that. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi. Mochi means rice cakes. Pasteles de arroz. So they are rice. So that is called mochi. For a strength in the new year. New vocabulary in this? Uh-huh. New vocabulary here? The strength. Strength. Strength means fortaleza. That's the strength. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see the next one. This one is some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with color greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. Ah, so it's like a mix. Good evening, welcome. So black eyed peas are this one, right? 
Hay frijoles blancos. These ones are black eyed peas. And the color greens are all of these ones. All of the green vegetables that you can use, they mix it and they prepare it in different manners are all of the cabbage family. Todo el que es la familia del repollo. All of that is the collard greens. So you can use the broccoli. We have the cabbage, the radish, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, lettuce, la lechuga también, the lettuce. So all that family are called the collard greens. Now, have you noticed with the cabbage, for example, with cabbage, we can make different, like a form of eating it, right? Different recipes. Hay muchas recetas, right? With the cabbage. You can prepare it in different ways. So sí, let's see here. Hay uh -huh. una parecida, teacher, de con, uh -huh. con el repollo, uh -huh. que se, se hace como con carne. O exactly. Con it's like this one, right? La imagen está como solamente como para comerlo eh, así como, como con ensalada. Y eso que mm -hmm. yo le estoy diciendo se come con, con preparado you, con caldo, pues. You cook it, right? Se Ajá. hierve, se cocina. Ah, vale. Right? Es, es hervido. That is true, yes. I así have prepared that with burrito, para que se pongan dos. It's true. So it's like a wrap. Es, Sí, es difícil hacerlo, hay que ponerle un palillo para que no se mueva. Yes, lleva bastante tiempo de cocimiento. That is true. El, el, el de este, sí, o sea, no es el cocimiento completo, sino que mm. es el preparativo de diferente, o sea, todo sí. se prepara en cada. Ajá. El pollo primero, después se pone a cocer el, la hojita para que no, no se deshaga, pues. Ajá, yes, mm. it's a, a different preparation, right? Ah, casi nadie lo hace, la verdad, casi nadie lo hace. Ajá, yes, it's not very common it's here. Es común, ajá. <laughs> yeah, it's true, it's not very common. All right, so let's check here. Now, in the platform, you have an exercise. That's according to the reading. It says, some Chinese people eat tangerines. What are tangerines? Mandarinas. Mandarinas. Excellent. That's great. And it says that tangerines are we complete round, round. Round like years. Why round like years? Because we know that the year finishes and then it starts another year. So that's why they are like circular, round and round. So you put here round. Let's write it here. rounds so some chinese people eat tangerines tangerines are round like years let's go ahead on our next part all right we have here another exercise this one is to remember about the use of the adverbs of frequency. Let's see. It says, put the adverbs in the correct places, then practice with a partner. We have the example here. What do you usually have for breakfast? So we're going to use the frequency adverb that is in parentheses. What about B? Let's start. Oscar. What would be B? You need to use the adverb of frequency you have in parentheses to complete. Uh, he says, well. No, 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 le comprendo. No? You need to use well, this. We are going to use the frequency uh -huh. adverb that you have in parentheses in this sentence. It's like here in the first one. What do you usually have for breakfast? Well, I... Often have. Often have. Aha, correct. I often have coffee. Coffee, cereal, and juice. Cereal and juice. That's correct. So this is the manner. Now, let's continue with A. Edit, continue. Now you need to use ever in the question. Do you 
eat ever ever breakfast. Do you do you ever work? eat? Do you ever eat? Do you ever eat breakfast at work? That's correct. Thank you. Marielos, continue please. I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. That's correct. Very good. Yes. Juan Antonio, continue. Do, do you sometimes eat rice you, for breakfast? Do you? All right. Look. look do you mean, usually? Do you usually, usually? Usually. Aha, that's good. Do you, do you usually? usually eat rice for breakfast? That's correct. Nice. Very good job. Continue. Let's see. Veronica, Cecilia. No. I ever have rice. No, I hardly ever. Hardly ever have rice. That's correct. Repeat it, please. Repeat it, Veronica. No, no I hardly ever have rice. Excellent. That is correct. Very good job. Now, look at this part. In the part B, we need to unscramble. That means to put in order because they are in disorder. In the example, you have it. Number one, I have breakfast. On never weekends. This is a disaster, right? So let's put in order. I never have breakfast on weekends. Let's continue. Rene, what is number two? I work. You need to put in order. Remember, after the subject, you need uh -huh. the adverb of frequency. Uh, I, I wore. No. What ever. is the adverb of frequency? Hardly ever. Mm. Hardly ever hardly is the adverb of frequency. Uh -huh. I hardly ever. Uh -huh. I hardly ever. Uh -huh. Eat. 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 Eat what? Not. It is snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks at work. At work, yeah, that's good. I hardly ever, right? Let's write it here. I hardly eat the snacks at work. Puedo ayudar con Hello. El yes, sure. Thank you. I sometimes eat pasta. For dinner. For dinner. For dinner. dinner. Uh -huh, that's good. Excellent. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Very good. Nice. I eat pasta for dinner. That's great. Yes. Nice. That's excellent. Okay. What about number four? Veronica Alegría. What will be the correct structure? Veronica Alegría, are you present? No? Christian? Christian Daniel? Hi. Hey, Christian. Um, let me see. I, I have... Immediately after subject, look for the adverb of frequency. Oh, okay, okay. I often. Uh huh. I often have a dinner mm -hmm. with my family. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes, I often have dinner with my family. That will be part of the complement. All right, so as we observe here, this is the structure that we follow. We have subjects, never here, it will be the adverb of frequency, the verb that is have, and then the complement. And number two, you have I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Subject, hardly ever, adverb of frequency, eat is the verb, and the rest we have as the complement. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. The subjects, I. Sometimes, adverb of frequency, eat, the verb, the rest is a complement. Now, let's read them. Let's practice the reading here. 
Ibis, read the first one, please. What do you usually have for breakfast? Hello, can you read this one, please? What do you? Yes, sure. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, I, I need you to read this one, please. Read this. What do you ah, usually okay, have for okay. breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? Thank you. That's good. Yes. Continue, Rene. P. Well. Well. I have coffee, cereal, cereal? And, cereal, cereal? and juice. And juice. Uh -huh. That is correct. Pero, pero... In where I uh -huh. open. you need to use often. Uh -huh. What open. is often? What is often? Donde debe de well, open? Well, is often have um, coffee, cereal. Well, I often. Well, I open. I often have have coffee, cereal, cereal and juice. And juice. Yes, that and is juice. correct. Thank you. That's nice. Catherine, Rebecca, are you present? Yes. Este... Do ever? Aha, do, do you, you do you ever? Do you do you ever eat breakfast I go at work? That's correct. Good. Jonathan, continue please. I have breakfast. I I at sometimes my desk. I sometimes I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. That is correct. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda, continue. Buenas noches, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome, Jessica. Do you eat rice? Do you? Do you usually yes. include? Include the adverb of frequency. Do you usually? Do you usually? 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 Eat? Eat? Rice? Rice for? Breakfast. Breakfast. Uh -huh, that's good. Do you usually yes. eat rice for breakfast? Thank you. Luz Garcia, are you present? Yes. All right. The last one. No, I hardly ever have rice. Excellent. That's good. Thank you. Jancy, continue. Part B, number one. Let's read it. Uh -huh. I never. Escucha, si te yes. Escucha. Yes. Ah, vaya. Es, I never have breakfast. Breakfast. On weekends. On weekends. Very good. Thank you. Jessica Franco. Jessica Franco, are you present? Okay. Number two. Jessica Franco? Hello? Hello? Problems with the audio? Okay. Gabriela Digail, please. I hardly ever eat a snack at work. Thank you very much. That's good. Carlos Arturo, number three. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. That is all right. Thank you. Lenny? Lenny, are you present? Lenny? Okay, I then. I often have dinner with my family. I often? I often? I often have? Have dinner why my with, family with, with my family with my family yeah that's all right okay this one was an exercise with this manner right using the adverse of frequency do you have questions questions with adverse of frequency no teacher no okay good one now let's go ahead and we are going to continue with our next part with our next section here. We'll continue with section four. 
in the section four, we are going to see the topic, I can't ice skate very well. What is ice skate? Well, it's a sport. Is this type Patinaje of sport? Patinaje sobre hielo. Exactly. Do you like this sport? Like see you. <laughs> see? Uh -huh. Like to Only. see it, right? But try it? No. No, kind of dangerous, right? Yes. Algo, algo peligroso, kind of dangerous. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, here in El Salvador, we don't have that, but maybe, in, uh, well, in Canada, people enjoy this. In the United States, they enjoy this. But I heard the last time that maybe in, in La Gran Vía, or Multiplaza, I think they had this. No, pero se acuerda que en uh -huh. galerías uh -huh. había hace mucho tiempo uno. Mm, yes. I, I I don't remember about galerías, but uh, sí, I, heard, multiplaza, multiplaza, I heard that in multiplaza. Un año. Ajá, escuché que ahí lo tenía. No sé si en galerías no, no, no escuché. No, pero es que, es que no fue hace poco. Fue en It was a long time ago. Oh, ah, ok. Hace tiempo. Uh, Había una galería. Ajá. Y ah, este, eh, había mucho, mucha concurrencia. Ajá, y que le invaden. Y sí, es bien peligroso. Sí, yes, yes. Pero Especially... no es algo que no se pueda hacer, ¿verdad? Creo que todos Ajá. podemos pues, reinventarnos yeah. en un momento. Exactly. It's like to try new things, como para probar algo nuevo, right? Ah, exacto. Sí, eso sí, sería bonito. It's like to, it must be exciting. Debe ser como emocionante, right? It must be exciting. <laughs> Los golpes. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh, especially that, especially. It's so, very cold also. Sí, pero imagínense que es, hay juegos donde pues uh -huh. se llama, creo que, no sé, play ball, algo así. Hockey. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. The uh -huh. hockey on ice. Uh -huh. No, es, es que es como una so, pistolita. Play ball. ¿Cómo? Pay ball. The pinball. Pay, pay. Paint, uh -huh. pintura, paintball. Paintball es true, como... Because they paint. Ah, vaya, no, imagínate. Se disparan. Este, este, se disparan. este juego, mucha gente es dice que eso duele. Ajá. Ajá, and, es este. and it's es... dangerous because if you are allergic, sí. hay personas que es... son alérgicas, right, to the paint, a la, no, a la pintura. dicen que sí duele, dicen que sí duele. Mm. Es un juego Ajá. de grupos. Ajá. Es it's like a war. Se juega a disparar. Es como de guerra, ¿verdad? De dar la tiempo. Es two teams. Hay dos equipos. De dar two teams. Exactamente. Interesante. <laughs> Interesting. Game. It's a cool play. It's a cool play. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's true. Okay. So as we know, there exist many sports. For example, here it says, which of these activities are popular with the following age groups in your country? We're going to check the activities and compare. For example, the bike riding is this a sport, right? That you can have the bike riding. The children, do children practice bike riding? Yeah, yes. right. They do yes. it. It's very common that they play. Actually, they don't do it for exercise, but they do it to play. What about the teens? In the case of the teenagers, do they do this? Do they practice? Yeah, mm -hmm. right. The teenagers, the adolescents, they do this. Young adults, young adults is like 20, 30 years old. They do it, they practice. Middle yes. age, middle age, like 40 years old, 50 years old. Now they do it for health, right? For exercise. And older people, well, here in El Salvador is not very common that mm. older people do this. What about golf? Do children practice golf here in El older Salvador? Older people. Older people do it. Yeah, that's true. It's not very common golf here in El Salvador, right? Not very common to do it. And it's very expensive. Boring. It, and boring. I think it's boring. And costs a lot of money. Jogging, you go and run, right? Jogging, a trotar. Jogging. Do you practice jogging? You do yes. You do it? Okay, Sometimes. good. Sometimes you do it, yes. Children? Normally don't, right? Teenagers? Always. Right? You always do it? 
young adults sometimes right middle aged people for exercise for health older people sometimes they do it martial arts interesting sports important also for security martial arts in children yeah, yeah they don't they sometimes do it right Ajá, for yeah. personal defense, they do it, yes. The teens, adolescents. Actually, there are some of the schools that they practice. is a part of the subject, right? A veces es, es una materia también. It's a subject in some of the schools. Young adults, yeah, sometimes they do it. Middle-aged people, sometimes also. Older people, it's not very common, right? Some places. <laughs> Yeah, depending, right? Soccer, soccer is more common, right? <laughs> we have soccer for children. Yes, they practice it. Yeah. All people. Ah, uh how -huh. all the people do all it? People. Teens, young adults, mid age, older people like the papi Woman, food, right? Men. Women also practice it. Yes. What about swimming? Important. Very important. Sport, true. Yes, true. Very also, important. adolescents, very important sport. Yes, young adults. Also, all, all the people, right, can practice it. Some people do it for therapy. For therapy, right? Sometimes they do it for therapy, exercise, for health. Therapy. Uh -huh. For animation also, to be energetic. Uh-huh. Ah, ah, Yes. Se escucha cortado, ¿verdad? De nuevo. For the rain, por, por la lluvia, ¿verdad? En algunos casos se escucha así como, como cortado. Ahí adivinando. Yeah. Pero... Porque por parte se le escucha cortado. Gracias. Yes. So... Maybe if you disconnected, a veces se, te, se puede desconectar, volver a conectar, a veces funciona, a veces sí, sí resulta. Ajá, uh -huh, it happens. Okay, let's go ahead now. What about volleyball? Do children practice volleyball? Children, teens. Uh -huh, teens, young, young adults. adults. Uh -huh. Middle age. Older people is not very common. No here in El Salvador, right? What about yoga? Not very common. Things and young adults. Things and young adults, right? Aha, uh -huh. yes, that's true. Because children, no, they don't need that. <laughs> they don't need exactly. this. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no need. Yes. All right. Then let's go ahead here. Uh, we're going to pass the list, okay? Let me know if you are present. First one, Ada Lisette. Ada? I remember I saw Ada, the Ada por ahí. I'm present, teacher. Yes, you are. Thank you, Ada. Ana Beatriz? Ana Beatriz? Angélica María. Angélica María. Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you. Christian Daniel. I'm here. Thank you, Christian. Edith Lorena. Present. Thank you. Fátima Yesenia. Fátima Yesenia Araujo. Gabriela Abigail. Present. Thank you, Gabriela. Ibis Areli. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ibis. Jessica Franco. Thank you. Joaquín. Joaquín Jesús. Present. Thank you, Joaquín. Juan Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Catherine Rebeca. Present. Thank you so much. Jessica Franco ya se reportó, teacher, perdón. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No. Kevin Orlando. Kevin Orlando. 
Lenin Monterrosa. Lenin Monterrosa. Ya vino el presente. Uso presente. Thank you so much. Liliana Patricia. Liliana Patricia. Luz Margel. Present. Thank you, Luz. María de Los Ángeles. María de Los Ángeles. Present. Thank you so much. Mauricio Alberto. Mauricio Alberto. Miguel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Olimpia Valeria. Olimpia Valeria. Oscar Esaú. I'm present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. René Alfonso. René Alfonso. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Roxana Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Roxana. Verónica Cepeda. Present. Thank you. Verónica Alegría. Present teacher. Thank you, Verónica. Jensi Alexandra. Present. Thank you, Jensi. Jessica Esmeralda. Jessica Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Rivas. Jessica Rivas. I remember I saw Jessica. Yes. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Teacher. Hello. A mí no me mencionó Jonathan sí. Oh my God. Let me check the list. Let me check. Jonathan, here you are. Oh, yes, but I saw you here. Yes, here. Yes, thank bueno, you so gracias, much, Jonathan. Teacher. Thank you very much. Teacher, no sé si me escuchó a mí cuando le contesté. Let me check. Yes, Catherine, yes. Yes, I listen to you. Okay. It's okay, yes. We got... Um... Okay, we're going to continue in this part. Here is yes. All right, so we were discussing about sports. We have also other sports, right? Other activities that we can practice. For example, in the case of this, what activity do you observe here? This one. What activity is this? Wrong. Wrong, running. right? Okay, running. That's the activity. What about this sport? Now, this will be sport. Basketball. 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 That's Basketball. good. Very good. What about this one? Posiblemente gimnasio. Gimnasio. Exactly. Yes. Go to the gym. Excellent. Powerlifting. Aha, powerlifting. Great lifting. That's good. What about this one? Taekwondo. Karate. Taekwondo. Martial arts in general. Okay. Now, what the sport is that? The one that you practice. Taekwondo. Taekwondo is the name. Teacher Vanessa Hello? Rivas, no, Jessica Rivas dijo que estaba presente. Jessica, ah, oh, yes, thank you. Ajá, uh -huh. she has problems with the audio. Thank you so much, guys, thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, so what sports? Go to gym uh -huh. sometimes. Oh, you you go to the gym? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. I sometimes go to the gym. Sometimes. sometimes go to the gym. Okay, very good. What about you, Oscar? What sport do you practice? Miguel? Miguel Antonio? I love the gym. You love the gym. So do you go to yeah. the gym? Yes? 
How often? How often do you go to the gym? Every day yes. or time? Or night? Often. Oh, in the oh. night you go? Ah, always. You always go to the gym. Okay, <laughs> yeah. that's good. So you practice different exercises and routines there. That's I practice good. powerlifting too. Hey, that's right. Good. That's nice to keep in shape uh, with the good yeah. health. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Yeah. Me, teacher. Yes, tell me. Um, uh, uh, sometimes I do exercise at in my home. At home. Okay, uh, sometimes uh, you do it. Hey, that's right. Do you run? Would you go um, out? No, routine the exercise. Ah, okay. So it's like a routine of exercise, but in your house. Uh -huh. You do it like to be in healthy, to keep in activity. Uh, you have energy, right? When you do exercise, you have more energy to work. That's good. Okay, we're going to watch the video. This one is about sports and seasons vocabulary. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary related to mm. popular sports in the US and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, People play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Try to give as many examples as you possibly can. Think about your family, friends, and co-workers, and the sports that they play. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right. After this one, then we have some other sports. But we know that sports also depends on the season or on the period of time that we have in the year. It says sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. What is a spring? Primavera. Primavera. Excellent. That is correct. So we have two typical sports, right, in the spring. Play golf play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, or go swimming. So in the summer, there are more sports, right? So this is more opportunity. Uh -huh. Summer is verano. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's the summer. What about in the fall? What is the fall? Otoño. 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 Ajá, correct. Oh. Otoño. Indian. So, in the fall, people play football, go by hiking, uh, by riding, sorry, go by riding, and go hiking. What are these three activities? For example, go hiking. What is that? Escalar. 
esquiar. Es climbing. Climbing, escalar. But esquiar. I, esquiar, I, I, esquiar. No, that's a ski. Hiking, hiking is, es ir de caminata. No, escalar. escalar. Es, oh, no, ir de caminata. Perdón, que es en el otoño. <risas> Ajá, es de, ir de caminata, ah, pero son caminata. caminatas. Pero es caminata larga. It's like when you go to, for example, to El Boquerón. Eh, you go hiking. Es una... Es, es un, hacen senderismo. Uh, ajá, correct. Yes. You go hiking, se hace senderismo, se hace una caminata, pero larga. Senderismo no al volcán, right? algún, algún bosque. Uh, to El Cerro Verde, for example. Uh -huh, that you walk for a long time. That is go hiking. The next part in the winter. What's the winter? Invierno. Invierno. Like in El Salvador right now, right? <laughs> Just that here we don't have a snowing time. So in the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, ice skating, right? And go skiing. Do you have new sport here? Question with this? What about ice skating? It's like the picture, right? This one, right? Ice skating. Uh -huh, correct. What's the next one? Go skin. Esquiar. Esquiar. Uh -huh, correct. So all of these sports are possible in the United States. But what about what sports are popular in El Salvador? Are uh, the um, basketball, football, football, basketball, soccer, football, soccer, baseball, uh -huh. volleyball, tennis, baseball, tennis, natación. swimming, uh -huh. swimming, 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 natación, swimming, swimming. Uh -huh. What else? Baseball, baseball, uh -huh. rolling. Which one? Baker rating. Ah, by riding, yes. People go by riding at the park. That's true, yes. Another one? Run, running. Running is another activity, yeah, that's true. Veronica Alegría, any other sports? Volleyball. Play volleyball. volleyball. Uh -huh. We play volleyball, right? In, yeah. Also in different uh, stadiums, people play. Yes. Play that, yes. Okay, so let's practice. Football here. player teacher. Ah, yes, the beach soccer. Now it's very common, right? No, it's very, very common, right? Okay. Now let's go ahead here. Yes. O sea que soccer y fútbol en inglés no es lo mismo. No, not in the United States. In the United States. When you say that you talk about football, that means el fútbol americano. That's football for them. But for us, soccer, that means soccer for the United States, then is this one. This one is the football, right? But the other one... Soccer in soccer. Middle. Soccer is football. El que es it's reconocido mundialmente. It's like Messi. Messi. Ajá, <laughs> correct. But then, this is, football, this is football. Es el, el que le conocemos americano. el fútbol americano. Mm -hmm. They have different rules. Uh, the ball is different also. Sure. So this is football. Uh -huh. Tell me. In El Salvador play football americano. I have heard that, yes. He escuchado que sí, se juega. Yes, I play right? it. Right? Do you play it? Ah, yes. That's good. I like that sport. I think it is interesting and I think it's exciting. Me parece emocionante ese juego. And also yeah. fun y divertido, right? It must be fun. It's very fun. Where do you play? But it's dangerous. I, I'm imagining, yes, because it's contact, right? It's contact yeah. sport. So it's dangerous. You have to have like a, a good discipline for that, right? To do a lot of exercise. But where do you play? ¿A dónde juega? Where do um, you play? In different places because, it's, uh, for example, in the Navarra, 
Ajá. Ajá, eh, ok. En el cafetalón. Ajá, that's nice. Oh, so they have an area. No, they it's... Have the field. No, no, it's exactly a... Uh, uh, a special area, field. No. No hay un campo, la cancha es como específica, right? Special. No, it's a soccer. Ah, so you play in the soccer, yes? Uh -huh. In the soccer area, in the soccer field. Yeah. Right? That's good, but it's very interesting. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun, but it's contact a little bit dangerous, right? That's good. Okay. Now, let's see here. We're going to mention, in the spring, I play soccer, it says. Well, we don't have spring in El Salvador. We only have two seasons, right? The two seasons will be summer and winter. But here, he says, well, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. So now tell me. What do you play or what sport do you play in the summer? Bajo la lluvia juega basketball. Ah, there are people that they play. So in the rain, I play basketball. Some people play it, right? No le escucho. No Hello? le escucho. Miss. Hello. Hello. Sí. You here? Can you? Sí, ahora sí. Now? Ahora yes. sí. Sí. Hoy now? sí. Yes. Okay. Quería Good. preguntar si en yes. bajo el bajo. Bajo, bajo la lluvia juega basketball. They play. No, what happened is that, remember that here in the United States and Canada, in the winter, es, es nevado normalmente. Right? En el invierno, no necesariamente que tiene que llover ahí, sino ah. que simplemente es neva. Ah. So it's possible to, to play basketball. Right? Ay, no, allá no están al aire libre como aquí. Ah, ajá, here is different. Bueno, en algunos ajá. de los lugares acá está cubierto, está entechado. They have the roof. Y es que en la mayoría de, de canchas de básquet las tienen los parques y están al aire libre. Ajá, ajá. for example, en Parque Cuscatlán, there is a basketball field. And it doesn't have a, a roof, no tiene techo, right? It's, it's open area. Mm -hmm. It's open. Mm -hmm. So let's check. What about in the summer? In the summer, uh -huh. I practice, practice swimming. Swimming. Okay. Very good. And the that's winter nice. too. And in the winter too. Oh, that's nice. Very good. Yes. What about you, uh, Edith? What do you practice? Yes, I'm the Welcome. Sí, sir, I'm sorry. Eh, can, you, can you listen? ¿Se escucha? Sí, yo yes. solo hago okay. gimnasio todo el año. O sea, no ah, tengo... Ah, okay. So you, you go to the gym, right? Gym. You go to... Okay, then you can say, I, uh, I go to the gym every day or I always go to the gym. Sí. Huh? That's good. It's a nice routine, right? <laughs> yes, you're always in exercise. That's all right. Good. Well, en todas las estaciones uh -huh. del año. In all the seasons, in the two seasons, in summer okay. and winter, I go to the gym. All right. Uh -huh. That's great. Nice. Miguel, what about you? What do you practice in the summer? Aquí estamos de nuevo. Hello, hello. In the summer practice. Play soccer. Ah, okay. In the summer, I play uh, soccer. And the gym. Always. Hey, you go to the gym? Yes. All right. That's good. What about you, Christian? Christian Daniel? Um, in the summer, I go swimming. I go swimming. Uh -huh. That is on, right? In that period of time, in that season. Thank you. Adali said, what about you? Ada, can uh, you listen? Yes. Yeah. Um, I go to the gym mm -hmm. in the 
Uh, in the summer. In the summer. Okay, that's good. Normally in the summer that you have vacation, right? So three days so that you can have time to go there. Yes, thank you. Jonathan, what about you? I do exercise. You do exercise, yes? Yes. And that is always or on a specific season? Um, in summer, uh, winter? Always. Always, okay. So you always yes. go to the gym. You do exercise. Yes. Yes, you always do it. That's great. Thank you. Roxana, what about you? Roxana, are you there? <laughs> Gen C? Gen C? Maybe problems with the audio, right? Yes, Gen C? Okay, tell us. Uh -huh. In the summer, what do you practice? Uh, in the summer, quiero ver, play, play, I... no. In the summer, I play or I practice. In the summer, um, ninguno de esas, pero pues vamos a ver. I play volleyball. I play volleyball. Okay, in the summer, I play volleyball. Oh yes, that's true. In the summer, is a good time to no play volleyball. Decir, I play basketball. Yeah, sure, correct. It's different. Ah, pues, in the summer, I play basketball. Okay, very good. Thank you. What about Luz Garcia? Hello. Hello, Luz. Give us an example, please. Uh, for example, in the winter. What do you practice in the winter? Hello? Um, que no practico nada. You don't practice? Okay, no. so you can say, I don't practice, right? I don't practice any sport. I don't... Ah, yes, it's true. It's same here. Igual la casa acaba de venir super recio. So it's heavy rain. For that reason is that it is problems with the audio, right? Okay, now let's check. Uh, what about you, uh, Veronica Sepel? In the summer and winter, I uh -huh. practice swimming three or four days a week. Four days a week, okay, that's nice. Edit, edit, Lorena. One hour. One hour, hey, that's good. Nice, good exercise. 2,000 meters. 2,000 meters, oh my goodness. That's great. Do you do a competition? No. I practice to my back lesson. Ah, okay. For Yes, that's true. For an injury. So it's good for your back. And yes. Good for Therapy you and, uh -huh. and aerobics aquatic. Aero ah, that's good. Yeah, that is good. It's a good therapy for the back. Yes. And also to feel energy, right? Also, yes. It's very important three, for it. Three years ago, practice. That you start. Ah, that's nice. Now you got the habit already. You have the habit yeah. of that. Stuff. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Edith, what about you? You said that you go to the gym, right? Yes. Yes. Sí, todas las estaciones del año. You said that in all the seasons. Yeah, that is true. Even, what about you? Yes. The audio? The audio, Ivy? Activate. You need to, to activate the audio. Tiene apagado el audio. Yes, ajá, uh -huh, yes. Eh, yes. Perdón. Okay. Okay, now yes. Eh, only I do exercise. No hago otra cosa. 
Ajá, at home, right? You say that your routine is at home. All right, good. Marielos, what about you? Mm -hmm. I play basketball mm -hmm. in the hey. summer. Hey, that's nice. Do you play in a team? Play yes. in equipo? Do you play it? Hey, that's good. Uh, nice. Practicing the weekend. Oh, on the weekends. Saturdays or Sundays? Um, the two days. Um, both. Ah, okay, that's nice. Great, guys. Okay, we were talking about sports here and the frequency that you practice it and the specific seasons. Tomorrow, we're going to continue with this. All right? We continue practicing that. Okay, teacher. Good night. Have a good night, guys. Thank good you night. so much. Thank you. Thank Sweet you dreams. Good night. Bye. I'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Sweet dreams.